Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Sunny Side. I'm Sunny, and today we're gonna rank the most perverted signs of the zodiac. Whoop whoop! <laughs> Good luck, player! <laughs> okay, sorry, come down. Okay, you want me to what? You sick, twisted, lactose intolerant! Okay, I'll do it. Maybe. <laughs> okay, whatever. This one should be a lot of fun. But for, but before we begin. For those who don't know, I'm a professional astrologer, and I do write the horoscopes for some of the newspapers up here in Canada. And if you want a personal reading, then just hit the PayPal button in the description box below and set it up. Also, we have a new Sunnyside Astrology app uh, that has a couple of different daily horoscopes, you know, free tarot readings, compatibility reports, discounts on Sunnyside merchandise, and uh, even uh, personal, there's a widget for a personal astrology chart interpretation and it's all for free I'm really proud of the app it's called the Sunnyside astrology and there's a link in the description box below and it's for iPhone and Android devices and um, that's the action <laughs> all right <laughs> enough blah blah go okay, oh, no wait one more SLC has a super cool new Poshmark store called a door store uh, where we sell our energy necklaces for, they look like this and she's got all of her merchandise on there and we sell our Sunnyside energy necklaces that look like this I think they're really cool and we'll be adding more stuff as we go along and so if you're interested in that kind of stuff do 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 once again it's called the adore store there's a link in the description box below all right everybody ready everybody got that here we go do 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 oh and please subscribe give the video <laughs> thumbs up whatever here we go do 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 what's a perv seriously what's a perv guys seriously hey sonny yes robbie hey sonny is it true that that most guys have two brains what do you mean two brains well i heard they have a big brain and that kind of like takes up the space in the head but i also heard a secret that some guys have a little brain that does all the thinking for them uh you know you got a point i do believe that most people most guys have do all the thinking yes most guys have two brains and they do most of their thinking with their little brain i thought so sonny i'm just curious all right all right we'll see you later <laughs> see you later kid hey robbie while you're at it before you go away what kind of girls that you like what's your favorite kind of girl I, oh sonny i like girls with brains oh all right <laughs> there we go F fair enough fair enough well just ask you know we got a lot of people here on the sunny side okay whatever what's a perv are these the guys who dress like Richard Simmons and drop their keys every chance they get? Are those guys a perv? Seriously. Maybe. Not necessarily. Are these the guys who need to tie you up before they take it off? Hmm. Sometimes. <laughs> these, um... All right. Okay. What about... Okay. Sometimes. What What about video, right? Do these guys... Do pervs need to videotape everything they do? Or maybe electricity, right? Or how about body paint? Lampshades, furry pets, <laughs> chain link fences. What did I write, man? All right, well, I definitely think we're in the ballpark. All right, seriously. What about boats, right? Water beds, car stereos. All right, too much information. All right, I'm just going to say yes and move on. Seriously. All right, Sonny, what about jello? Mud. You have to have mud, Sonny. If you don't have mud, you're not a perv. All right, everybody come down. I think you get the point. If it falls off the table, Okay, if it falls off the table, unless it's perfectly, uh, purposely stuck there by mud, sex tape, restraints, peanut butter, jelly, but not necessarily at the same time, or Gorilla Glue, it's not perverted. Everything else is game. We cool? Good. Number four. Here we go. Place your best, everyone. This list was fun. Okay. Uh, and a whole bunch of honorable mentions today, so stick around. Here we go, number four on our list today was a lock to make it somewhere. And straight up, without beating around the bush, number four, Scorpio. Seriously. Seriously. Sonny, you say, Sonny, you say Scorpio for everything. Sometimes, I just, but like, come on. Like, <laughs> seriously? Like, I know, okay? I know. Scorpio's on every list these days. But we all know they're one of the major perverts of the Zodiac, right? Seriously. That's an absolute lock. These guys will make a nun late for Sunday school. Blood, bondage, front door, back door, sliding door, inside, outside, left side, right side, wrong side. 
guys, it's Scorpio. Right? They rule the eighth house of sexuality. They are dark, mysterious, secretive, probing. <laughs> I said probing. All right. Their, their ideal date is Viagra, tequila, and videos of Cirque du Soleil. That's a circus that's like go like this a little bit. For those who don't know. You know, <laughs> I even met a Scorpio who shaved a landing strip on his back. <laughs> like, seriously, how nasty is that? Like, what does that even mean, Sonny? I don't know, man. All right. All right, whatever. It's done. Out of the way. Number four, Scorpio. Deal with. We don't need an explanation. Let's just move on. You know they're going to make the list. All right. Okay, whoa, whoa. Before we move on, I want to explain something to you about the eighth house that Scorpio represents, the Scorpio rules. The eighth house is peeking behind closed doors. No, not in a, like, <laughs> it's about, it's peeking behind closed doors. Scorpio is Libra's karma. That means if something is funky in your relationship, right? Any kind of your relationship, any one-on-one -on -one binding in some way kind of relationship, whether you're, okay, like whatever it is. So but if you see the person on like a regular basis, whether you're like in a relationship, that's what it is. Then it will ascend to be judged and played out in Scorpio. Now, be careful when you use the word judge because judge refers to other things in the tarot and astrology. But... I'm going to you know, vaguely use that, loosely use that term today. Anyways, this means you get married in Libra, or rather the seventh house. You come together in Libra. Libra is we are. Then you have a lot of sex in Scorpio, or the eighth house. It's taking the relationship to the next level for better or for worse. Once again, if you have Venus in the seventh house, then your partner will make most of the money and take care of you financially. Venus is where you make your money. Seventh house is your partnership. Your partner is going to make the money for you. All right. Then, then as it ascends to the Scorpio sign, the eighth house, your partner dies and you inherit money. Right? Seriously. <laughs> All right. Or, you know, uh, or you, um, Mars in the seventh house, you know, Mars is disruptive energy. Your relationship gets disrupted. And then the eighth house is um, alimony, or child support you know it's both pay it can be paying or it can be receiving depending on the planet the second house the second house right on these axes that I talk about in astrology the second house is your money people giving you money and your stuff the eighth house on the other side is people giving you money and stuff for someone else like child support they give you money to take care of the kid or a legal battle Libra seventh house legal Scorpio, ruled by the 8th house Mars energy, equals battle. So 8th house legal battle, so hence 8th house legal battle, right? Anyways, if you want to know more, just take one of my online classes. Just sign up for the next uh, astrology course. But for today, anyways, number 4, Scorpio. And that's how that kind of, the transition works from house to house, sign to sign. All right, next, let's get on with this. This is a long list today. Next, number three on today's list is an air sign. You guys ready? Okay, time to get down to it. Number three on the list, numero toi, <clears throat> is an air sign that not only likes to watch, I'm mixing it up a bit, you guys, okay, that not only likes to watch, but they like to watch you through rainbow colored glasses uh-huh they are the most outside of the box sign and what you consider weird or kinky or preferred preferred it <laughs> was a preferred sign. <laughs> they consider it straight game and just a warning here these guys rule the astro sector of friends with benefits and as i've always said they have a lot of friends and this goes double for their moon sign and as far as venus in this sign is concerned well, have you guys ever seen those people who don't wear belts? You know, that like, you know, that's them, right? Totally, totally free spirits. These guys are the definition of no strings attached. I, it's like, seriously, no strings, right? These guys even cry at Pin when they watch Pinocchio. Without the strings, Sonny, they should let Pinocchio free. Whatever. Number three, Aquarius. Like, seriously, I hear what you're saying, you know? Boo! Boo! This is why... Okay, why is everyone complaining? Seriously, aquas use glitter as lube. You guys ever know that it's that? Like seriously, I want to have a sparkly orgasm, Sunny. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I guess that makes a little bit of sense. 
<sighs> so what are you trying to tell me? So Aqua, what are you trying to tell me? If you want to have a rainbow or orgasm, you got to rub yourself with Skittles? Like, is that how it works? <laughs> Seriously. No, Sonny, I'd have to have sex with a unicorn for that. Okay, whatever. I knew this was going to get weird, but seriously. Is glue glitter actually uh, perverted? Gloob? <laughs> is glitter lube actually perverted? Or is it more like some kind of a lifestyle decision that I should just learn to accept? Maybe it's just creative. Hmm. No, man. It's it's perverted. I got to stop overthinking this. All right. What about Roman candles? That's perverted, too. All right. Good. I'm back in this action here. Number three. Why can't we just be friends? Naked friends. Aquarius. Seriously. <laughs> you think this list could, you know, you think that this list could write itself seriously. Like, we, we know the signs that are perverted, obviously, and the signs that aren't, right? But there are so many people out there that's perverted in so many different ways that it, it was, it gets a little bit tricky. Except, of course, for obviously our number one sign and, and uh, Scorpio and Aquarius. These guys are a flat out lock on the list. Okay, next. Number two on today's list is a water sign. Everybody with me? Number two on today's list is a water sign. Their eyes smolder. They have a sharp tongue and they like to use it. And that's number two, Scorpio. Go! <laughs> Sonny, you already did Scorpio. Yeah, man, but like Scorpio can go all night long. <laughs> okay, Stuart, chill out. Everybody chill out. Next, for, for real. Number two, numero deux. We have an earth sign. Everybody ready? This is now we're gonna get a little bit more serious here. We have an earth sign that is a control freak. Whether you, they, the clerk at the store that they bought the rope from, right? Any of you guys want to admit it? You know, sit, stay, roll over. These guys are control freaks. Emphasis today on the freak part. And that's numero deux, number two, Capricorn seriously we always say in astrology scorpio has the power but guys scorpio doesn't always use it scorpio can be a little lazy at times you know <laughs> so scorpio the taurus they could be a little lazy okay but they don't always use it capricorn on the other hand they desire the power and they are always going for it they are ruled by saturn which is the planet of control bondage karma did you guys get that Karma. Some people say that the North Node is your karma, right? They say the South Node or the Dragon's Tail, it's lessons from a past life that you bring into this life. And as such, you're moving towards the North Node. Or some people say the South Node is karma. The Dragon is karma in astrology. But uh, by definition, uh, Saturn is... Um, Saturn. So you can have good karma and you can have bad karma. And Saturn is takes away what's not supposed to be there. If you did something... To some people, that they went sideways on you, Saturn takes it away. But Saturn also rewards very hard work. So if you work hard, you'll be rewarded. And that's good karma. Saturn is karma, both good and bad. Anyways. All right, next. All right, I had some kind of joke in here, but whatever. Anyways, Capricorn. They are karma. These guys are the bad kind of sex until things get good. But by that time, you're so emotionally spent and physically disheveled, you can't even tell if you had a good time or not, seriously. These are the guys who have secret sex rooms. They have secret sex lives. They have secret sex dolls. And some of them even have pets that you don't know about. You know, did you hear something coming from the basement? <laughs> no. Put on the blindfold. We're going to have dessert upstairs, baby. Number two, Capricorn. Now, quick FYI before we move on. Capricorn's action is so way far down low, so, so smooth low, you won't even see it coming. But it's definitely the quiet ones who rule today. And that's number two, Capricorn. All right, Sunny Siders, you guys ready for some honorable mentions? Hmm, did you guys think Capricorn was going to make the list? Seriously, we all, like, everybody knew Aquarius and Scorpio was going to make the list, right? But what about the other guys here? All right, here we go. It's time for some honorable mentions. First up, first honorable mention, Taurus. Seriously. But think about it like this. Uh, the Venus guys get honorable mentions today. Um, Taurus is ruled by Venus, and they are the most sensual sign. They're the, sense, they're the sign of physical love, right? Smell nice, touch nice, taste nice, right? They rule the throat. So they have that, you know, so they have that going for them. Plus... Taurus is supposed to be into food, and I guess that's kind of that's kind of kinky, right? But perverted, 
Like, see, it's Taurus really perverted. I mean, the Romans have been doing sexy things with food for the last couple thousand years. So, and before them, the Egyptians were doing sexy things with scarves and scented, can scented candles and oils long before the Romans even arrived on the scene. And the Karma Sutra, well, I thought that was written a long time as well. So I guess if you look at it like that, Taurus is, you know, as, as hardcore as Taurus's sensual freak gets, is kind of mainstream. Plus, Venus energy is more loving energy. It's do unto others and please unto others. This is more of a nice kind of vibe as opposed to the, you know, the Aquarius outside of the box kind of thing, the Scorpio lusting after the whatever kind of craziness is going on, or the Capricorn, I need to kind of restrain you physically kind of vibe that's going on. So, so I don't know. So, um, but, you know, it's kind of cute. Taurus is kind of cute, but actually, but not actually perverted. You know, their kink is kind of kinky, but like, they're not straight up perfs. So, sorry guys, no Taurus today. Sonny, that's not fair! We're totally perverted! We're so perverted! <laughs> Stop it. You're starting to sound like Aries. <laughs> okay. Next. All right. Now, I know you guys who watch these videos here or hang out on the sunny side, right? If you hang out and watch some of them, uh, for those who don't know, those who are new to the channel, I do the horoscopes three times a week for you guys. You know, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we get together around lunchtime and, you know, and we talk about astrology and we do the horoscopes. And for those who know here of watching the videos, you would think that I would have put Libra and Gemini on the list somewhere today, like very seriously. And yes, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> Libra and Gemini, they are definitely good to go and definitely loosen the zipper, stat padding material. But pervs, I don't really think so. Uh, uh, uh. These guys are curious, definitely curious. Uh, imaginative, yes. Easily bored, yes, yes, and yes. But I don't think, oh, it's so nasty, Sonny. Did you just write that? Okay, but I don't think these guys need you to pee out of the window of a moving car while watching pornos on the dash cam just to get turned on a little. Seriously, that kind of nasty, Sonny. I don't even think, I don't even really think they, they're not, that curious <laughs> either anyways same also with Sagittarius loosen the zipper but I think all of these guys all of these guys uh, draw the line you know at a good old-fashioned Roman orgy you know seriously so uh, whereas the guys on the list on today they don't just want extra bacon they need it so sorry guys no Gemini no Libra no Sagittarius today I don't consider them super pervy all right, one more before we get to number one. I said one more, but actually double. there's two double one mores. First, next, before honorable mention, Aries. Oh, yeah, seriously. What, Sonny? We're the biggest pervs of this. No, give it up. <laughs> Their Aries are playful and experimental. And again, they don't freak lifestyle. You know, they are not freak lifestyle in today's game. Aries is playful, you know, experiments and curious, you know, they're experimentative and, and they're, um, they're curious to see if they can actually do something and they want to like do it, right? But they're probably not going to use bodily fluids as dietary supplements. That's not Aries thing. All right. So, sorry guys, no Aries today. All right, here we go. Double one more. Du honorable mention. Honorable mention. Okay, what? <laughs> Leo. Got it? Leo does represent, like, how can you have an orgy without a Leo, right? But, <laughs> so, anyways, Leo does represent the fifth house, which is the ast the other astro sector of fun, creativity, and playful sex. And Leo is an animal, okay? So, the lion's an animal, right? And astrologers do say that the animals of the zodiac tend to be more lustful, right? The animals, these guys are lusty these guys you know these guys are very lusty where am i here all right and astrologers do say the animals of the zodiac tend to be more lustful but then again then again no one ever brags about being hung like a crab <laughs> sorry cancer you're gonna have to take a mulligan on today's list as well so okay back to leo leo is definitely playful dramatic they do like to show off they are the center of attention and they can do almost anything both good and bad and as i've said it before leos could rank on almost any of the lists that we, we ever make but today being perverted according to today anyways involves deviant behavior and leos aren't necessarily deviant by nature 
kinky, sure. You know, lustful, totally. You know, will they try everything to be the best lover you've ever had? Definitely. Leos try really hard to be the best. But, you know, Leos rule the zodiac. They are not dark. They are not sneaky. And in my opinion, they're not pervs. So sorry, guys. No Leo today. A lot of honorable mentions. Did I mention everybody in the zodiac today? The only one I haven't mentioned are the... Uh, the helping guys. <laughs> All right, here we go. Number one, who do you guys think it is? Numero uno. All right. Good question, Sonny. Thanks, man. All right, here we go. Number one. Now, number one on today's list will definitely protest the results of today's list. They're going to, like, file some forms and complain about it. And in fact, but in fact... I'm not going to take it personally because they complain about almost everything, seriously. But as you're so quick to point out, the facts do not lie. Uh uh uh. These guys are a mutable earth. These guys are mutable earth sign, which by definition, mutable earth means rock your world. Ugh. <laughs> they are the most self critical sign of the zodiac. They are Mercury energy. Okay, so think about it. These guys are Mercury energy. So if Gemini, which is also Mercury energy, these guys in Gemini are both Mercury energy. And if if Gemini is considered two people, right? If Gemini is considered two people, all right, the then our number one sign on today's list, which also has, you know, it they also have the potential for a dual nature, or in other words, secretive lifestyle decisions that you will never ever ever know about very seriously and that's number one virgo so think about it you know think about it the mars guys are easy aries is a rage head scorpios is a rage head you know the the pretty people have got to go easy going on libra's into beauty taurus is into beauty the mercury guys Gemini is a little bit on the hey how you doing thanks for coming out. Virgo is definitely on the hey how you doing thanks for coming out, but in different ways. Okay. Virgo is all about the way things should be, but they also have this weird duality about them. Half of them is prim and proper. The other side of them flat out does whatever they want. Seriously. They are the number one sign of making excuses and justifying their actions. Now, they don't really, you know, they don't really, it's not as bad or as hard as I just said. Because that's, because what happens is Virgo gets, they only justify their actions when they get caught, right? So that's when the Virgo's hidden nature gets caught, uh, when it becomes exposed to light, that's when they start to really go, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> so that's the that's the that's the deal hey Zani, i like virgos is it because you're a taurus no i like virgos because they got brains yeah i like gemini's too i don't know what everybody's to, to, does to complain about i don't even know what this what is this thing you're reading here sonny robbie kind of shooting a video right now all right Zani, i'll let you go i'll talk to you later all right <laughs> thanks man all right next all right here we go huh <sighs> Okay, they're the number one sign, but they also, they can justify their actions. They're extremely quick at pointing out discrepancies, but they are once again, very self-critical. So Virgos, they're not exactly hypocrites. And I think you should, I think you should give them a break. All right, so what does any, any of this have to do with being perverted? Well, that's a good question, man. It's because Virgo has a lust for tangible knowledge. You could have come up with a better reason than that, Sonny, seriously. Maybe they're just like sex freaks. Closet sex freaks. Yes, the virgin likes it. Yeah. <laughs> closet. You're a closet sex freak. Who are you trying to kid? Sonny, go blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. All right. Just like Gemini, who's super curious and loves to ask questions and debate the outcome, Virgo is also super curious, but as an earth sign. All right? So, okay, so here they virgos covet the experience gemini and libra are cool talking about or imagining scenarios virgo wants to do it 
seriously think about it think about virgo you know virgos are very quiet they're thinking about it thinking, and then they go check that action out in a let's let's get this game going on kind of way gemini's libras they just talk about it and they're like ah and to them they did it right but virgo they got to actually do it it's physical stuff virgos taurus capricorns have to actually physically do it virgos are definitely wax on wax off kind of sign Virgo is also the sign, one of the signs of helping others. Seriously, Virgo is one of the signs of helping others. There's an axis there. So, you see those rocks over there? Virgos are going to help you toss those rocks. Play it. <laughs> and this is probably the easiest list I've done so far. Easy peasy. Number one, most perverted sign, but you'll never see it. Virgo. Seriously. And that's the action, guys. Seriously, that's the action. Thanks for hanging out today. Thanks for sharing the videos. Thanks for subscribing and downloading the app. You know, once again, if you want a personal reading, just uh, hit the PayPal button in the description box and set it up. And finally, but most importantly, please visit SLC store, a door store. There's a link in the description box below. And uh, with that, remember, uh, here on the sunny side, it's always a beautiful day to be beautiful. But uh, together, it's a beautiful day. It's together, it's a beautiful day. And with that, from the sunny side.net, I'm Sunny, wishing everyone the absolute best of a super beautiful day. And I'll see you guys on the live stream.